I am excited to be launching the Soul Gym program, authentic content creation for coaches, mentors, and healers. So what is this program? It is a coaching, a group coaching program and a facilitated community of support to help you be, to start being consistent or to continue being consistent with creating authentic content. And for those of you who are, are wondering, why is it important? Why is it so important to create authentic content on a consistent basis? I have a short talk for you about that, and you can find that link to the short talk below this video. But for those of you who have been watching my videos for a while or reading my stuff, and either because of me or because of your own reasons, you are committed to creating authentic content on a consistent basis. You know, and, and when I say authentic content, I mean the content that comes out of your grounded experience, that comes out of your own voice. Um, it is, when I say voice also, it's it, not necessarily speaking voice. It could be some of you are going to be making videos. Some of you are going to be writing. Some of you are going to be uh, recording podcasts. Some of you are going to be doing Instagram posts. But your voice is the style or the uh, the expression of your energy signature in content. So that is, um, you know, that's that's your voice. And authentic content comes out of your grounded experience. So you're you're not just like, you're not copying other people and it's, oh, this thing worked really well. I'm going to copy and paste that. Or, or you're not just sharing other people's links. And you no, know, you're creating out of your own experience. Now, this could be for your business. Obviously, a lot of us are creating authentic content related to the topics of our business so that potential clients can can see our journey and how we're helping others, et cetera. So that's so it's coming out of a grounded experience from your from your work, your business work, and or your life. And for some of you, your business is as a life coach or supporting others in, in some area of life. So it comes out of both your life and uh and the study of your clients, the um, experiences of your clients and, and others that you're helping. So the Soul Gym program is designed to help you stay at a weekly creation rhythm. So let me explain why that's important. Creating every now and then is fine. Oh, I, I'm, in, I'm inspired today. I'm going to create you know, a video, make a work of art, uh, write an article. That's great. That's fine. But what, what tends to happen if you don't get into a consistent rhythm is that you are at the whims of your internal storm, you know, and, and kind of desires. And what happens is you will occasionally create and it might come out beautiful and wonderful and inspiring. But many other times you will feel uninspired and you'll think, well, I'm uninspired, so I can't, I shouldn't create right now because it's not going to be great. And this is one of the most common myths. I'll talk about this in some other video. I see people do this all the time. Even some of the best creators, um, I, I see this kind of like myth that, oh, I can't create until I'm in, in, inspired by flow. And then I drop everything. It's like, okay, you're going to drop everything to create. And this is also partly why your time management is often a mess. It's, 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 you know, where's mine? My time is very, um, I'm able to get so much done and have a really nice balance of life because I have discovered this secret, quote unquote, or more like the skill of generating flow on demand. The skill and the muscle of becoming creative at will. That is really what creators want, right? <laughs> That's really what artists want. And actually, some of the best artists, some of the best writers, you may have seen quotes from them that they have found this. They just show up every day, you know, at 9 a.m. or whatever it is for them. You know, probably some of the most, most celebrated writers, authors, 
I think I think at, at least Stephen King does this. If not, I, I I know I've seen like Pearl Buck has a quote on this, and like so many others, they basically show up every day. It's almost like a job, except of course it's it's uh, the the act of creating ends up being quite enjoyable and fulfilling. So it's not just a job, but but they show up like a job, like clockwork, and they practice generating creativity and art and the most brilliant art at will, on demand, not beating oneself up. Although some creators, they probably still do that and they, 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 you know, but I like to, I like to say, be strict about showing up, be lenient about the results and be gentle about refocusing during the hour again and again, or during the two hours or whatever, however long you create, like just gently refocusing again and again, strict about showing up, lenient about the result and gentle about refocusing. And by doing so, what happens is you are. Um, you nurture yourself into a consistent rhythm of creativity that ends up creating the most, your, you end up meeting your highest potential in this life in ways that you can't by just waiting for creativity to show up at some point and then dropping everything. And the problem with that, again, that, that original method of just waiting for creativity, waiting for flow to show up is you might wake up at 3 a.m. And, and say, no, I can't go back to sleep. This is too strong right now. I used to do that too, because I didn't know. I didn't know if that was any better. I, I, I couldn't trust my ability to create, to be as brilliant at 9 a.m. or 3 p.m. or whenever I said I was going to create, whenever my calendar told me I was going to create. I couldn't trust I could be as brilliant at that point as I could at 3, 4 a.m. when I suddenly got struck by an idea or in the shower or on a walk or something like that. That's That's being at the mercy of the muse. Whereas... Actually, the muse wants to partner with us and go, listen, if you tell me when you're going to show, if I see you showing up consistently, I'll show up too. But I have to see that you you really want it. And most of us don't realize that. So we, <laughs> so soldier, back to the soldier program. This is why one of the many reasons why creating authentic content is so powerful. And one, the once a week rhythm is very, very reasonable. And, um, it's what uh, I've been. I've been creating at least one new piece of content per week since 2015, middle of 2015. It was when I started this rhythm, and I've become more creative. More, I've I've had a you know waiting list of clients for years because of my authentic content that's being out there, uh, and my um, I feel like I found my calling more than ever before because of consistent co authentic content creation. So let me let me share with you what this program. Is about um, what you now you now hear what it's about. It's to help you create once a week authentic content. So how do we do that? How, how do we help you do that? A couple of ways. Number one, you're going to be receiving my training on how to create and track and repurpose authentic content. So let me, it's a it's a mouthful. You'll so every week you're going to get about ten minutes. Of training. I know that's not a lot. That's not the, the core of the program I'm going to talk about coming up. But every week, you're going to get this kind of bite-sized, ah, this tip, this uh, sort of method, I'm going to try that out. Or I'm going to like shift your perspective in some way, like, oh my gosh, now I'm going to create. So every week, you'll get about 10 to 15 minutes, actually, of, of um, content. You can be there at the call live, or you can watch it later as a recording. It's up to you and it'll be available to you ongoingly. And uh, and so in, in those little 10, 15 minute segments per week, I'll talk about uh, and, you know, I have I have a whole list of topics right here that I want to that I want to address. I'll talk I'll, I'll first of all work through all the, the blocks people have to creating content. What format do I choose? Um, will I be understood? You know, this topic feels too big. How do I how do I write about it? How do I speak about it? It's, what I'm going to say, I think other smarter people have already written about it, spoken about it. These are all blocks that I'm going to kind of, we, we'll work through them week by week so that you'll no longer be blocked by them. Um, when is the right time to post on social media? Uh, what about the order of what, what should I create first versus second versus third? The topics, uh, to topic, topical order. What about the length? You know, um, uh, what if I get judged? What if I get you know, what if my friends and family think I'm, you know, what are you doing with this thing? Why are you being so flaky? Or, or, uh, or maybe I get mean comments from strangers. What, what if that happens? 
you know, um, how do we get into consistent rhythm, right? Because I, 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 I get into it and I lose momentum. And so we'll talk about all these blocks. Um, I will also be giving you my, my favorite prompts that get me to create on a consistent basis. So the prompts for creating and not only me, but you're going to get other prompts from fellow creators in this community. Um, I'm going to be teaching you, not just teaching you, but helping you create your own process for writing. Like when you sit down for an hour or an hour and a half or two hours, what, what's your process for writing? I have a process. I'll share mine with you, but more importantly, you'll come up with yours and, um, You'll, you'll see other creators come up with theirs. Your process for writing, your process for making video, if you choose to do so. Um, your process for tracking your content. The reason why is it's important to track it because over time, in order to discover that intersection between your creativity and passion and what the market wants from you, that intersection requires you to track over time. Ah, oh, the last 10 pieces I shared these two did the best. Well, let me write that down. Because if you don't write that down, that stuff down, you can't see a pattern over time forming for what your business is really about. We don't, this, in my opinion, we don't decide what our business is about in the beginning. It's decided with the market over time. This is why it's like we can relax about trying to figure out the perfect messaging or whatever, because it forms itself over time naturally when you create authentic content consistently, and then when you notice the pattern. So that's the tracking. I'll give you tracking templates and things like that. Um, and then we'll, we'll also talk about repurposing content. So once you have created a bunch of stuff, how do you take the best of the older stuff and turn them into things that you even better than what it was before and reshare it so that it gets even more viral reach. It gets even to even more people because people are sharing your best stuff. And in fact, as of you know, today, I mean, the, now actually as of the last two years, most of my weekly content has been repurposed. Did you know that? I'm sorry if you didn't know that, but I only create something new, truly new, that's new to me about once every two weeks now, actually once every two to three weeks. But I still put out four pieces of content per week. Most of those four pieces of content per week are repurposed. So content creation has gotten way easier for me. I'm getting a little bit lazy. So this program is important for me too. But also people go, George, you're, you're effing brilliant. Every single thing I see, I'm like, no, I'm sorry. You're only seeing my best 10%. You're not seeing my, my 90% that, that I created years ago that, you know, or in the past, you know, uh, what is it? Six, seven years that nobody cared about. You're only seeing my best 10 to 20%. So that's what, that's the power of repurposing content. All of us have that. All of us have the best 10 to 20%. It's true. Even, you know, even though George, I only get two or three likes on my posts. Still, you, you will notice over time, oh, most of my posts get zero to two likes. This one got seven likes. That is a pattern. There's a reason for that. Anyway, so um, we will, of course, talk about the social media algorithms and uh, how to work well with those. Um, so, so the Soldier in Program comes with my content, authentic content training, the newest version as I'm recording it, this, uh, as we start the program and, and uh, run the program, and I'm re-recording everything. So my newest uh, and best training about authentic content creation and repurposing. And then it also comes with my joyful productivity uh, training, which I think is very much tied into being consistent with creating. So you're going to get that uh, bit by bit, week by week over the entire program. Now, let me get to the core part of the Soul Gym program. That's just the preamble. Right? That's just, oh, it's nice to get some information, some training over, over, over time. The core part is that you're going to have a, a private forum and you're going to have a facilitator, somebody who has been paid to be your point person in the program to like encourage you on a weekly basis. They're, they they are not a trainer or a coach for you, but what they will is they will they will notice your consistency, and they will encourage you if you start to fall out of that consistency. And I will uh, I'll also make it even more uh, motivating for you. The weekly content creation is required to stay in the program. 
So this is unlike any other gym where the gym owners don't care if you pay for the gym membership and never show up. It's better than it's better for their machines, right? And technically, for profit, I shouldn't care whether you show up. I just want your money every month. Well, that's what a lot of programs do, right? They just take your money every month and they don't care. In fact, it's easier for them if you don't show up. They don't have to look at your comments. They don't look at your posts. They don't have to. But I will require that you show up at Soul Gym. Otherwise, there's no reason. I don't want to take your money. You can leave the program for now. And, and, and just to be a little gentler, we do have a one-week buffer each time. So like you're, 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 you're required to post one at least once a week, even if it's just, here's the thing. I, it's a lot of, a lot of you might be, some of you might be blocked with creating. So like George, once a week, even that feels so daunting to me. And then you're thinking in your mind, I've got to write an award-winning blog post once a week. I got to, I got to create a, a YouTube video. That's going to get 2 million views once a week. No, I'm not. Once a week, I want you to show up with practicing the muscle of creating you could do more than once a week if you want to but but even if it's three sentences that you write in 10 minutes i want you to post that in our group and that suffices for the requirement now i hope you go more than 10 minutes to create something maybe you'll create something brilliant in 10 minutes but i want to see you show up consistently practicing that muscle of showing up even if it's three sentences once a week so minimum is three sentences or or if you're making a video minimum is one minute video now yeah I, even if it's 30, I would say minimum is 30 seconds because, you know, social media does well with short videos. So if it's a 30 second video, great. But, but just something that you, you are proving to yourself, that's what I want to see. You want, I want to see you prove to yourself over the course of the time you're in the program, whether it's six months, 12 months or whatever, that you can be consistent. And if you, if you, if you fall down uh, a given week, you know, during a month, you have like a buffer week. So every month you have a buffer week and you can play hooky that week if you, if you wish to, but try to save that buffer month for the end of the month if you, if you have to, you know. Um, but yeah, if you, if, you, if you don't do it, then, you know, you are, you're out of the program. You could still join us, but there will be a waiting period for you to come back. So there is accountability for, for, for staying in the program. So I think that in itself is is worth per, worth paying the the gym membership because imagine a gym where it's like they they won't they will refuse your money if you don't show up, then you're probably going to show up much more likely if you keep paying right. So um, so that's the core of the program is a, a a private community of the most supportive kindred spirits that you'll ever meet. That's what people say when they are in my community. It's like oh these are the most these are the wisest most supportive people that you can. You can find on the internet and they're all in this place and then they're supporting each other. And uh, so, so your commitment is the following, creating one piece of content per week, even if it's three sentences or half a minute video, right? Um, and second commitment, this is also important, that you will be uh, engaging with three other pieces of content per week in our group. And the reason for this is it balances out the ratio better. So it's not just everyone posting and nobody's, nobody's you know, engaging with you. People engage in my group anyway. That's just natural. But it's just a nice like, oh, yeah, let's see. And once I post it, let me go ahead and look at three other posts, especially posts that don't have any likes yet or any comments. It's, you know, be of encouragement and support. You don't have to like spend an hour reading and thinking about what they said. No, you could just spend, you know, even three minutes, five minutes per post. And, and giving them an, an honest, uh, encouraging response, even if it's short, even if it takes you, like I said, three or five minutes, you know, per post. But, but even doing that gives you inspiration too. It's, you're not just, you know, fulfilling the, 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 you know, the duty to the community, but you're going to get inspired by, and not just inspired, you're going to start making, you know, collab, collaborations, colleagues and friends who are, um, you know, grateful for your engagement. With them and then you might end up collaborating together so basically creating that's what we're going to do in the program obviously there's accountability for that there is uh connecting with others and and let me talk about the final part um and and collaborating but um let me talk about the so there's the the training we talked about authentic content training and the joyful productivity we talked about that there's the accountability and the private space which by the way i should mention Whatever you post in Soul Gym, it's it's yours. You own it, so you can post it anywhere else. Your, your own content, you can post anywhere else. Obviously, it's your own creation. 
So our private forum is really for those of you who are, maybe you want to test something out, you want to try something out, you're not ready to po post it publicly, but it's also a requirement. Whatever you post publicly, if you create it that week, that's the requirement. You can't just go to Soul Gym and go, let me just copy and paste. I have already 50 blog posts. No, you are creating something, either you're creating something new or you're repurposing something. You, you at least edited it and extended it in some way or cut things out, you know, truncated it in some way. You're, you're, you're doing something with it, whether it's new or it's repurposed. And then you put it in Soul Gym and you can also put it elsewhere if you want to uh, publicly to grow your audience. So there's the training we talked about. There's the forum with your paid facilitator who is going to keep track of you and your requirement. Um, and then there's the connecting with others in a group just by engaging with them. You could do engage with more than three per week if you want to, of course. Engage with as many as you have time for. But you also connect in this way. And, I'll, I'll, and this is how we'll complete this video here. Another key part of the program is we have weekly meetings. Now, the meetings are, are not going to be um, required because it, the time zones might not work for everybody, but there are two meetings per week. One is good for Europe and one is good for Australia, two time zones. And the Europe ones are good for Americas during the daytime and the Australia ones are good for Americas during the afternoon, evening. So really the whole world is covered with these two, these two times every single week. And you can look at the program uh, link below to see what the actual times are. Um, I don't want to name it right now because it may change, but but those two times. And it's and the, the calls are just half hour every single week, once a week, half hour. And what happens during those calls? In the beginning of the call for five to 10 minutes, I will do a bit of training on authentic content. And then for the bulk of the call, about 20 minutes or so, we're going to be creating together. It's called co-working, and we each are going to be silently working on creating our piece of content for the week. Um, now, if you've already created, then maybe you could work on um, distributing that content to various social, whatever it is, you're, you're working on content during that co-working time. So, so uh, I have a timer. Uh, I'm going to be working as well. We're all going to be working. And then after the 20 minutes or so, we'll celebrate for a few minutes. Just people can share what they created or celebrate what kind of progress they made. So um, the last thing I'll say is some of you are wanting to create bigger pieces of content, like, like you're used to taking two months to write a blog post <laughs> or like a month to make the, the amazing video that's with a lot of editing, all that stuff. I understand that. And this community is going to encourage you to be faster at creating content because um again i've been i've made over a thousand videos and written over 300 full-length blog posts full length meaning at least 500 words most of them are like 700 to 1200 words anyway at least 300 uh that's the ones i've tracked anyway that are actually on my current website i've ones that i didn't uh didn't track in the past but so I, I have, I've created a lot, over a thousand videos, over 300 blog posts. And I will tell you this, I have had certain pieces of content that I spent so much time on. I mean, this is so brilliant. I even created graphics for it and every, and it doesn't go anywhere. People don't get it. I'm ahead of my time. Or I haven't figured out how to communicate in a way that people understand, even though I spend a lot of time on it. And yet there are also other pieces of content that I spend 15 minutes on. And it makes my career like it, it becomes a thing that people know me about, know me for. So I have found over time that the best policy, the most, the wisest strategy, in my opinion, is to practice creating faster. So at least once a week, right? You practice creating, putting something out at least once a week. And then notice that first version, which one of those many things you did, the first version got above average engagement. Then you take the things that got above average engagement and you repurpose it. You make it even better. You extend it out to a second version and then repost it, blah, blah, blah. And that's how you create an award-winning blog post. Or that's how you make a video that goes viral. You, you, the first edit doesn't take you that much time. But, they, oh, my gosh, people really liked it. Great. You're going to do a second edit or 
you know, extend, uh, add another clip or whatever it is, or remove something, you know. So even if you're creating masterpiece content, this idea of multiple stages of content that you put out there to te keep testing the market is so much better because you will not be creating and wasting time on something that people don't get. Number two, every time you put out another version, it's another opportunity for the audience to go, wow, that was great. I didn't see that the first time. Oh, I'm going to share this. And then you put the third version out, you know, three months later or two months, later, they're going to be like, oh my God, I've never seen this before. Last so many people will do that. So I uh, look forward to seeing if you have any comments or questions about the Soul Gym program below. The link is below. You can go there for all the other logistical details, but, but just know that by joining the program, you will have more supportive, loving accountability than you've ever had, I think, perhaps <clears throat> at, at, at the price, <laughs> at this price, because uh, it's not one-on-one -on -one coaching, but um, you know, it's like a gym membership uh, of sorts where you have um, accountability in creating training to create authentic content and the process and the rhythm and the tracking and the repurposing and a community of people that will probably become some of your most trusted uh, supportive colleagues and friends and fellow creators. And I often have people in my, in my groups, they, when they, whenever they can, they get to meet up in person and there's just so much delight and, and joy. It's like, it's like, you know, it's like meeting a, a kindred spirit, you know? So I look forward to seeing uh, if this program interests you. If you have any questions, let me know below. Thanks.